there, Sue Wilson. I've got a beautiful framed uh, medallion sort of card for you today. Absolutely lovely, very elegant looking, I think. We will be using several of the new dies and embossing folders. First up is the Brambled Rose. It's an eight by eight embossing folder. The sentiment comes from the Sweet Wishes clear stamp set from Creative Expressions. For the focal element, we'll be using the Olivia die from our frames and tags. I'm adding some corners as accents from the Atlantic Ocean border and corner set. And I am making some frames with the noble dies, the double pierced squares, both the set A and the set B. And I'm actually going to be using the same uh, double pierced circle set A and set B, but not the larger pieces. We'll be using the smaller ones for our sentiment. So even though it's a noble die, you can use them for both large and small things as well. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is bring in our Brambled Rose embossing folder. I've got a piece of milk card. I'll give you a quick measurement on that. It is six and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'll pop that into place with our Brambled Rose. Put that down. I'm using the white adapter plate from Creative Expressions on top. And we'll pop that out. You've got a really nice emboss on that. So I want to accent that a little bit. And so I'm going to bring in the gilding polish. This is the Enchanted Gold. So use the uh, applicator on the top here. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit off the edge. Just Get enough on the applicator, but not have big gobs of it. Wipe it on the edge of your um, jar there. And we're just going to rub it over the top. And it's such a very subtle gold. You'll see it when the light hits it, but it's not um, anything that will be sort of in your face. Really, really love this color. Just pick up all of that gorgeous embossing. Get that last corner there. What I think is so pretty with this card, it does add, um, this uh, gilding polish, it does add an air of elegance just because when you've polished it, you do get that lovely shimmer that just shows when you move the card around. Isn't that pretty? So nice. And I'm just gonna give it a quick little buff with a piece of kitchen roll. And that brings the shine up and just dries it a bit. It's virtually dry when you put it on, it's so easy. There we go, that's good to go. Set that aside for a moment. So the next step is I'm going to create a frame. Now, I've already done my frames and added a bit of mounting foam, but just to show you what I've done, for the um, milk card frame here, I've used a couple of the dies from the B set here. So I've used the largest one, gone in, skipped one, and then gone in another one to cut that. And then I've used the just the hair smaller size from the A set to create this. And I've only just used the inside part and left a little bit of an edge. So I'm basically just using the aperture as a frame there. So we will put these two together, peel off my mounting foam. And I've just got one piece on all the sides there. I'm gonna pop that over and it's just gonna show that pierced edge just lean over it a little bit, get it nice and centered. Try to hold it equally around all the corners. That looks pretty good. There we go. And just lower it down. Okay, so you've got a really pretty frame created. And the reason you use the A and the B set is they're closer together in size. So it gives you a really nice tight mat for it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is add my corners. So let me bring all of those in. So I've cut four of the corners from the Atlantic um, set here, the border and corner set. So there's an outside and an inside corner. So we're going to be using the one that goes inward. And I'm just going to peel off the backing on my frame. And I'll do this side first. And we're going to seat that right in the corner there. In fact, let's do it this way. I'm just going to catch 
the edge right about the same spot on both pieces there. And we're going to go ahead and do that with all four corners. So I'll peel off another piece, pop that down, and it looks like I can just catch the edge right about like that. There we go. Get that last side peeled off. And we'll do these two here. Let's just see it from the other side. I think sometimes it's easy to, makes it easier to just visualize it from the proper side. Pop this one into place. There we go. So now you've got a little bit of an accent that's going to show with your background there. And I'm going to add some glue just to make sure it sticks really nicely to that gilding polish. It's not as fussy as glitter, but it does give you something there. There we go. Pop that over that. That looks good. Now that, I'm going to set that there for a second. And we are going to bring in our Olivia die. So I want to cut this out of the milk card. I'll just show you how pretty it looks when it's cut. And it's got an outside cutting edge. So I'm going to just center that around it. Bring my cutting plates back in. back and we'll take all our bits out of it. There we go. Keep our tape. Pop that back onto our magnetic sheet so we don't lose it. And they've got a couple little pieces that just need to be popped out. But you see how pretty that is. It's like gorgeous. I love the way that looks. So I'm going to put that over a piece of gold that I've cut earlier, just using the outside cutting edge for that. So I'm going to use a little bit of spray glue just to make it nice and quick. And get both sides. Now when you have mirror cards, you want to try to get your your um, other piece on there as straight as possible because it will leave marks. So I'm going to try and line that up right like that without too much movement. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I love the way that came out. I'm going to use that in the center of our frame. It's a lovely medallion look to it. There we go. Let's see if I can get a little glue on this one. that into place, about like that, right in the center. And I have a sentiment that I've stamped. Just use a little bit of um, archival ink on a piece of milk card. And I've used the smallest little pieces from the uh, Circular Nobles. And I've created a little uh, gold frame to go on top using the A and the B set. Remember I said you have tinier little pieces that you can use. So you can cut part with the B, cut the inside with the A, and it makes it even thinner. So I've layered these two up and I've matted, uh, put some mounting foam on the back just to um, put some dimension to it. So I'll peel all these little bits off and just have them cut in little tiny pieces so it goes all the way around the circle nicely. There we go. I'm going to center that right over my sentiment. About like that. And bring my scissors in and I'm just going to trim away the extra card. Get a hold of that and just keep your scissors at an angle and you don't see that cut edge. And we can just put this in with a bit of glue right in the middle. So I'm going to seat that right in the center of the medallion. There we go. Give that a second to set up. And I'm going to bring in my mat and layer. And we'll pop a little glue on the back of this. And that should stick that quite nicely in there. And I've tied in the same milk card and the same gold mirror with a little bit of a, a mat and layer. So you have a beautifully framed medallion. How easy was that? And it's such an elegant card. You could easily turn this into an anniversary card or a wedding card or anything you want. It's just a beautiful design.
Hope you've enjoyed today's video and look for us again soon on our YouTube channel.